For the third time this month, another Greensboro Police Department employee has faced a judge charged with child sex crimes. Earlier today, Matthew Sidney Hammonds here, the now former crime analyst, made his first appearance in court after being charged with sexual exploitation. Good evening and welcome to the Fox 8 5 o'clock news. I'm Neil McNeil. And I'm Katie Nordine. Fox 8's Daryl Matthews is live outside the Greensboro Police Department headquarters. Daryl, I know you covered two other GPD employees who have been charged. Yeah, Katie, just 11 days ago, we saw Josh Oliver walking in the courtroom shackled in front of a judge. But I want to remind you that Hammonds is not a sworn in employee. And although he is an employee, none of those charges are related. Now, according to the Greensboro Police Chief, they hold their non sworn professionals to the highest of ethics and integrity. And Matt Hammonds fell short of it. The plea to a Guilford County judge Tuesday from yet another Greensboro Police Department employee, this time virtually from a holding cell. Mr. Uh, Hammonds, you have the right to remain silent. On January 30th, Matthew Hammonds was arrested after the State Bureau of Investigation notified Greensboro Police Department charges were being brought up against a non sworn in former employee. Hammonds was fired from his position as the department's crime analysis the same day. Okay, Your Honor, I'd like the court to appoint. Prosecutors say Hammonds duplicated materials showing prepubescent females nude and engaging in sexual acts with men. They also say they're unsure how Hammonds got the material. Those are class E, class E felonies. They carry a maximum sentence of up to 88 months in prison if found guilty on either charge. Greensboro Police Chief John Thompson sent Fox State this statement saying in part, the actions of this individual are not at all consistent with the expectations and standards of our employees. This is the third GPD employee since the start of the year to commit a heinous crime. On January 12th, former officer Kenneth Adams was charged with sexual battery on a female and giving alcohol to an underage person. A week later, former officer Josh Oliver was charged with six counts of statutory sex offenses and six counts of indecent liberties with a minor. And now Matthew Hammonds, the third to be arrested on sex crimes. Hammonds has a $50,000 bond. If he's released before trial, he's not to have any contact with a minor or be on social media or be unsupervised with anyone under the age of 18. His court date is March 15th. We're live in Greensboro. Darrell Matthews, Fox A News. Carol, thank you.